Hey guys, what's up? This is Mark Agnesi at Norman's Rare Guitars. Just want to take a second to show you some of the new stuff that Fender has released for this year. They just redesigned the whole American Vintage series as well as released a couple other kind of cool new models. Um, just want to show you some of the cool new stuff that we got in. Uh, first one is this here. This is their new, this is the new American Vintage 1959 Stratocaster slab board. Um, this replaced the 62 reissue Strat that they've been doing for a while. Uh, a little bit more historically accurate with the neck profile, um, the clay dots. Um, when they say slab board, for some of those people always ask what a slab board is. If you get a tight shot here, you can see how the rosewood is cut flat when it hits the neck profile. It's a flat slab of rosewood that sits there as opposed to, I'll show you a laminate board in a little bit. This one here is a faded sonic blue. I think they also do this in sunburst and black. I uh, just got this one in today, but very great playing, great feeling Stratocaster. They also redesigned some of the tellies. They're still doing the 52 telly, which they've been doing since the 80s, but this is new for um, the new American Vintage series. This is the new 58 telly, uh, which has the, the white guard, uh, with the lighter blonde body uh, of the like 55 through 59 Telecasters. Um, again, really, really accurate neck profiles. Um, they also kind of redesigned the, the dark circuit um, doesn't sound as dark as it has on some of the older reissues. It actually seems a little bit more usable now um, and the bridge pickups sound great. Uh, also a new telly. This one replaced the double bound 62 telly. This is the new 64 telly. Um, again, this is a laminate rosewood fretboard as opposed to a slab. So if you get in there, you'll see that the fretboard, the rosewood, is actually curved uh, with the radius of the, of the uh, maple neck as well, as opposed to being a thick, flat slab of wood like on the Stratocaster. Again, dark circuits, a little less dark in these. Neck profiles feel great. This one's got the pearl dots as opposed to the clay, which would be right for 64. Um, this one's Lake Placid Blue, also available in uh, kind of the same white blonde color and uh, also in Sunburst as well. And this is a guitar that we just really fell in love with at the NAMM show um, that we're all really excited about. This is the new Pawn Shop Series Base 6. Um, Fender used to do one of these out of Japan, a Jaguar uh, base 6 copy uh, maybe five or six years ago that they discontinued and they haven't done anything to replace it. But this is the new one here. Um, combines both the Jazzmaster and the Jaguar pickups um, with five-way switch so you can get kind of all those different in-between sounds. Um, and these are really, really killer. They're $7.99, which I think is the perfect price for one of these for anybody who's got studios out there film composers, people who just need some different sounds. Very unique. Little different than a baritone. Baritones are tuned from B to B, kind of in between the guitar and bass registers. This uh, really is a, a true bass. It's tuned E to E, so you can play guitar chords on it. It just rings in the bass frequency. So this is kind of a hybrid of a guitar and, and the bass, where a baritone sits in a totally different frequency range going B to B. So these are just some of the cool new things that Fender came out with this year. We got them all in here uh, in stock at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check us out at normansrareguitars.com and uh, give us a call if you got any further questions. See you guys.